Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and welcome to a little monthly vlog. Um, I figured these would be kind of fun to do on my channel. Kind of start getting a little bit more personal with you guys about some stuff. Just take you guys along to do, I don't know, things. Um, don't really have like a set plan as to what it is that I'm going to do in these videos, but we're going to do some fun stuff. I had a lot of fun doing the vlog that I did back in March, April, May. I don't remember when that video came out, but I had a lot of fun doing it. So I figured that I would start doing more. Yeah, I like I said, I don't have like a set plan. I know that I want to... Like show you guys how I redecorate like my background for filming for seasonal stuff how I decorate my house when seasonal like decor starts going up it's August which is wild to me so that means I'm gonna start probably putting up a little bit of fall decoration soon because like why not um, it's not like I'm not gonna put up Halloween decorations in September so might as well start switching it up now stores started selling Halloween decor in June so I think I can put it up in my house um and other than that like you know hair dye stuff life stuff um I might even like you know give you guys like therapy updates because I did start therapy very very recently so if you guys are interested in that um and yeah just hanging out taking you along for the ride anything cool that I do I'll probably take you along so if you guys are interested in hanging out with me and seeing what I do just hanging out with me on a little vlog then just keep on watching so you guys already saw the first little clip um, of me doing my morning skincare I'm gonna toss on some SPF and do something with my hair because it's like, what is going on over here why are you just this little curl whatever um, do that. I'm going to get ready to film. I have two videos to film today. Three if you're counting this one. Um, I'm filming my Shop Miss A haul and an empties video as well. I really, really, really need to make a habit to start filming empties videos more often. I... It's... I put it all in a box in my closet in this room and it's like high up so I can't see what's in it and I just keep tossing stuff in it and then eventually it'll hit a point where I'm just like I haven't I haven't put up an empties video in like god knows how long so I need to start making a point to doing that more often because my empties videos always end up being so fucking long because I have so much to talk about because I don't do them very often um so I need to make a mental note of that to do that more often. I'm gonna do that, have some errands to run today. I'm picking up some stuff for a new computer that I'm getting, I'm waiting for that to get shipped to the store, but I have like the keyboard and the mouse and everything like that so that I can kind of optimize what I'm doing and hopefully will myself to edit more often than, you know, last minute. Cause that's a, that's a thing that I love to do that I need to really work on not doing. Don't have a lot of big plans for today. I do plan on, um, I have a room, like a little storage shed space that's in off of my, our balcony that has all of our like seasonal decor on it. So I'm going to organize that room, kind of get it a little bit more set up so that I can grab stuff a little bit easier in there. And I'm going to bring in the fall, the boxes with the fall decor in them. And at least get them in the house and then probably like next week or so I think I'm gonna start putting up some fall stuff behind me for filming that that is one thing with my channel I I, I pre-film uh, like pretty far ahead actually I'm a uh, gonna be going back to work full-time by the time you guys see this video I will already be back at work full-time but I am actually filming this at the beginning of July which is insane to me but I pre-film so far in advance that like my office my filming decor is gonna be fall like a month before the rest of my house will have fall decor up and then <laughs> it's just it's just weird so this video is probably gonna be all over the place because I do want to show you putting up the fall decor in the rest of my house but I'm gonna do that like a month later than I put it up in here so like 
just try to keep track of everything. But yeah, I, uh, I think the way that this week is working out, I will actually be almost completely done filming for August before this week, but when this week is over, which is cool. So I was getting a little bit stressed out about how that was going to work going back to work full time and like not having as much time to film as I would normally need. Um, especially like if you want to get really technical with it, if I have two days off of a week and I put up two videos a week, like that can, I could get behind really, really quickly. If I have a day that I'm off that either I don't want to film cause I'm just not in the mood or I have something else that I need to do that I don't have time to film. Um, not to mention October, I put up three videos a week in October, so I could quickly get behind. Um, so it's kind of comforting to know that by the end of this week, by the end of literally the second week of July, I will be done filming for August. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to jump off and get this room ready to film, get myself ready to film, and I'm going to go film some videos and I'll just, I'll just keep touching base with you guys. I really just don't feel like getting out my uh, phone holder, so it is later in the day. You guys have seen me change like three times already today. Um, first of all, obviously that video would have gone up a while before this one, but uh, pretty pleased with the stuff that I got from Shop SA. Quite happy with it. Um, I ran some errands. It's thrilling. Now I'm gonna make some dinner for myself because my husband's eating at my parents tonight at work and uh i'm gonna stream this is a fun fun thing that i've started doing is uh streaming on twitch so if you like video games um magic the gathering or like simulation style games then come hang out i'll i'll leave the link for it down below but uh yeah, I've, I've been streaming. It's a lot of fun. It's just kind of something to do. I'm going to go stream, eat some food, and uh, enjoy the rest of my night. I will see you guys on another day. So we actually ended up um, moving around some like computers and stuff in here, kind of making it all cohesive and like putting it together into one workstation. We now have it set up as like one thing and I'm really hoping this one little ring light all the way over here will actually work as a light and not be too far away to make no difference whatsoever. Um, mostly because I really just don't want to have to move that ring light every time we use it. Like every time I need it for filming or every time we need it for streaming. I'm kind of just hoping I can just leave it over there because like, it's such a bitch to to resize it to hit it perfectly to go right around the camera and it's just, it's just too much work. So happy Thursday. I am filming again today. Um, I have two videos to film. I have a palette mashup and a speed reviews video to film. I got some therapy later which is going to be delightfully, delightfully fun. Um, and I'm going to stream later today as well. So I'll take you guys along for the ride with me, but I'm going to go ahead and get ready to film. I also have to dye my hair later because I am filming my auric video tomorrow and doing my auric shoot tomorrow. So I want hair that's not completely rinsed out. So I'm going to do that later today. I'll show you guys what I used when I did dye my hair because I'm just re-dyeing it. And yeah. Happy Thursday. A side note, um, the Coles by me had these pet beds on sale. They were like discontinuing the brand or something. So they were super cheap. So I picked up three and I think it's safe to say that they're a success. She's so, she's so sleepy and comfy. And then we got this one over here who refuses to lay anywhere but within my filming equipment, which just makes me incredibly nervous. That's fine. Lucas. Hi. Okay. 
You're such a funny boy. Just in case anyone was wondering. These palettes, almost entirely drop proof. Almost entirely. I filmed my uh, speed reviews video and in it I was holding all five of them because one of them, the magnets is off and they don't stack correctly together and it, it, was, it was a whole thing. Anyways, finished filming. Went to go pick them up to put them away and they slid and I dropped all five and a ColourPop palette. <laughs> Everything was okay except for one. And even then the shadows were, were fine, but uh, the glass, the mirror shattered in my volume one palette. And, uh, and by shattered, I mean like one chunk broke off and came out. I have to buy a new one. There's no fucking way that it's like even remotely safe for me to use a palette that the mirror shattered in it. Like the, it's, yeah, it's gotta be dangerous. Anyways, I have therapy in like 30 minutes. How's everyone else's day going? <sighs> Alright, so I'm filming this part a little bit earlier in the day. I'm not quite ready to dye my hair yet, but I wanted to show you guys what I used, am going to be using, so, um, because I'm not going to be able to, like, vlog it later. I hate this brand, but I had a very specific color in mind based on how my hair looked when I bleached it, so I went in with the... Arctic Fox Sunset Orange and I did like a 50-50 mix with this and the Sally Beauty generic version of the It's a 10 I can't keep myself in frame It's the uh, Sally Beauty generic version of the It's a 10 hair mask because my hair was fucked when I bleached it last and then I did mix in a little tiny bit of the Manic Panic Vampire Red to make that color I have some left over in this tub right here as you can see, but that is what I'm going to be putting on my hair later this evening. So I'll show you guys a little video once it's all on. All right, so just a quick hair update for you guys since you did see me dyeing it. It turned out a little bit more red this time than it did last time, but like, I like it. It's very like Little Mermaid-esque, but I'm a fan. I'm using my uh, filming light as an arm stand. <laughs> so I just finished filming um, not my last video for the month of August, but um, pretty close to it. I think I have one more video besides this video to film, but I am itching to change out to some fall decor for filming behind me for the very end of August all through um, September. So I'm going to show you guys um, kind of what everything looks like before it, what I have, what I'm going to pick to put up there. And uh, yeah, let's redecorate some, put up some fall decor. I'm so excited. So this is where we are at right now. I kind of have like a a pinky goldy kind of theme going on my and my, my blankie so um, I will I'm gonna change out that blanket to a more fall blanket and then I have some pumpkins and I'm gonna see if I can find some like reds and orange things to put up on the shelves I know for sure I'm keeping the candle Where's my hand in the frame? I know for sure I'm keeping the candle um, I might keep these ones out as well and this one um, but other than that, I'm not 100% sure. Probably the brush cup too, just cause like it's a nice size with the, with the candles. I don't, we'll see. We'll see. Hi bud. Just imagine just being that comfy. Just all the time. All right, so I'm gonna stay a little bit more neutral with my blanket, but it's got some leaves on, it's got some fall vibes. And then I have these two pumpkins right here that I'm gonna put up on the shelves behind me. So we're working with kind of like some bronzy, goldy shades. We'll see if I have some makeup that can stand up that'll work well with this. All right, so I got a little far away shot for you guys. Um, I did end up going in with some 
cream pillow going in. I grabbed the cream pillows I had out in the living room because I felt like they went better with the blanket. And then I'll show you kind of up close what, every, what both shelves look like. So I decided to stick with Auric up on this shelf because I just felt like the gold just all flowed together really nicely. This one um, kind of kept it a little bit more warmer toned. I liked the peachy but orangey but kind of subdued look of the Smashbox Vitamin Glow. I think it works really well with everything that's on this shelf and then just to fill in some space I kept out the wet and wild lipsticks just because I really like the way that those rose gold lips look hello it is a new day I am once again using my foaming lights as an armrest I'm watching one of Sam's new videos in the background but I wanted to get on here and ask you guys a question so as I talked to you guys about earlier in this video I have started twitch streaming and I thought that it would be kind of fun if like once a week or once every other week, a couple times a month pretty much, I did a stream where basically for an hour, two hours, depending on how long it takes to do it, I go through new releases on Ulta's website, new releases on Sephora's website, I can't hold my phone straight, um, go through like trend moods. Instagram stuff like that and basically just discuss new releases what I would buy what I'm not gonna buy My thoughts on releases stuff like that. Is that something that you guys would be interested in seeing? if I were to talk about it like on YouTube or post about it on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, would you guys come hang out with me and talk about new products and we could talk about our feelings for new stuff um comment down below and let me know because i'm curious hello i'm a barely a person this morning i um went to bed at like 12 12 30 last night went to bed at 12 and uh got anxious that I wasn't going to wake up in time. So, you know, I was up for another 30, 45 minutes after that. Had to wake up at like 4, 15-ish um, to take my best friend and her family to the airport. And I'm, it's now 8, 8.30 in the morning. I've had coffee already um, and I'm up, unfortunately. Just gonna, you know, I wasn't planning on filming today. Um, I don't usually film on Fridays when I'm off. Got a couple hours before Chris is gonna even be a person, so I'm, I might as well keep myself busy so maybe I don't fall asleep again. Or rather, just fall asleep, period. I say that, but if I want to take a nap later, I'm taking a fucking nap. Anyways, I wanted to get on here because I'm an idiot. And I feel like if I vlog about this, it'll remind, my, remind me in the future. I have talked about this a lot on my channel, especially recently, um, that during the summer, this room gets really hot. So I went down to just, I'm not gonna blind you guys with it, but I went down to just one filming light and then I have my ring light, which is now actually set up behind the computer um, for streaming and stuff like that. So, the ring light back there really does a whole lot of absolutely fucking nothing from this distance, but I simply cannot be bothered to move the ring light and readjust the tripod every time that I film or that we stream. It just it's not gonna fucking happen. I could buy another one, but like realistically with the camera like even right in the middle of the ring light it didn't light up my face so much that it was like fucking absolutely necessary it really really wasn't i still had to have other lighting and so like for example here there's the big window in this room and then we do have another small window over there that small window over there doesn't really get light until five six o'clock when the sun's setting and the big window gets a lot of light first thing in the morning and then later in the day loses a lot of its light but that window does provide a fuckload of light for this room um and as you can see i actually barely have the blinds open right now and i just i'm leaning back because i'm fucking tired um i just checked like got everything ready for filming 
and actually realized that having the blind it could just be because of what hour it is the sun is like in the fucking window having my big light out there and then having the the blinds open not too much does help but i realized i'm a fucking idiot because what what's on this mirror that i use every time i film and it's right above my face fucking lights I could have been using those lights the entire time. They're right fucking there. All I need is an extension cord. I'm gonna go film a video and try not to fall asleep. And I will see you guys in a little bit because we did some fun stuff in the living room that I wanna show you guys about. Show you guys. I really wish that I would have gotten a before photo of this or video of this because it just, you, you can't, possibly understand the difference without seeing it also sorry the footage is a little bit dark i had to close the the blinds because well frankly um you would be able to see where i live and also the couches that we're in here are currently on our balcony because we're waiting to dispose of them but we have to get a truck to do so so you know that'll come but basically like to to sum it up for you guys where that couch and that um very torn up ottoman is was like an l-shaped couch that stretched probably to the end of that brown wood fixture and then that couch right there was actually over here um so there was actually pretty much no access to and the cat tree was like over in that corner um there was like no access to outside to the balcony like we had to climb over furniture to get there it was cool because it made a big u-shaped couch and like technically this one this one does lay down flat and technically it fit perfectly into the L and it made like a giant bed and it was like, oh, that's super cool. It just, it took up so much space and we never sat out here. The big couch was so uncomfortable. I, I needed a workstation. I needed a place to put my computer and we have a desk, had a desk, had a chair. So I was like, why don't we do this? And honestly, I am... So incredibly in love with how it turned out it's so gorgeous I just picked up this um, rug today that coffee table actually used to be in the office that's the coffee table that I film on I'm getting we're getting new coffee tables delivered to go into the office but that coffee table was so big in the small space that is the office um, you guys have seen it in other footage so it just it needed it needed to come out here it looks really good out here the other ones are gonna be a perfect fit in there and I'll show you guys those ones as well but I just wanted to show you guys how everything turned out she's mad that I'm talking through her nap but I wanted to also show you guys this we commissioned one of our friends to paint a picture of our cats and he did such a phenomenal job so I just wanted to show you guys because it's just it's it's perfect and it looks so cute on the wall um, it's sitting high compared to the, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Couch. But that's because we don't trust our fucking cats. So out of their reach is what matters most. And yeah, I, I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, it's definitely a little bit barren in here right now, as you can see, like very, very bare. Um, I am going to be putting up fall decor very soon so i didn't want to like start digging for new i didn't want to start digging for new like decor or anything like that when it's literally like gonna go into fall decor and then immediately after that halloween and then you know into christmas decor and so i figured i'll just wait kind of see what we have we're good for now come springtime again which at the rate that this year's going is going to come faster than I am prepared for it to come. But when that time comes, I can then pick up some decor, decide how it is that we want to kind of decorate out here. Um, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you, especially that painting, but just show you how everything turned out and I'm so in love with it. And yeah, I will, um, probably my next clip will be showing you guys the coffee tables because, well, frankly, I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> by the way, by the fucking way, filmed that video, right? Felt great after I filmed the video. And then a little while later, probably like an hour later, 
I started to get tired and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna take a nap, you know, nap time. Uh, I laid down and I napped for a whole 40 minutes and I find that to be a complete fucking ripoff. And like, I can tell that I am functioning like not at 100% capacity. I can tell. And I also can tell that I'm gonna crash the fuck out tonight. So I'm very excited for that. But I am gonna go take care of my best friend's animals and make some dinner and honestly just relax. Moving that coffee table onto that rug by myself was not an easy feat. I cleaned the whole living room, the whole kitchen, everything. So I'm tired. Um, I'm just gonna go relax for the rest of the night. And then I have work tomorrow, unfortunately, and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. So Lily's showing you the uh, stability of the coffee tables. Um, this is just one of them right here. And then I have the other two kind of tucked away. I could stack them all together, but those two fit over there really nicely. And it gets my little basket of new makeup off the floor. Um, and it's also, you know, I can, didn't mean to throw my hand in the shot, but you know, um, it works out really nicely. I've already filmed using them. So it's not like, doesn't inconvenience me. It actually works out really well because I can take the, uh, tripod and kind of straddle that corner right there so I actually get the camera just a little bit closer to me which is nice because then I can reach it <laughs> um but yeah it works really well super happy they stack really nicely together it was slightly a learning curve to figure out how to stack them like you can see right here you actually stack them off corner of each other um so that took us a second to figure out um but otherwise like yeah you can put them kind of arrange them how you want or later or you can set them so that the corner goes into the flat side, but they're really cool. My only complaint, my literal only complaint is how soft, like how slippy these are. And I'm aware this could be totally alleviated by putting like something sticky underneath this, but I can't have this on here. The other day I had it on here and one of the cats jumped up here and it, it, uh, went, it went flying. So, um, I'll have to figure out something for that. For now, I just have the candle sitting somewhere else. Um, but yeah, otherwise super happy. They were really affordable. They're really sturdy and strong and like metal legs. They're, they're, they're great. I'm pretty happy with them. And one last thing, by the way, I just wanna point out that I feel like the light colored wood really works well with the couch and like the dark, dark legs work well with everything else that's in here. Yes, we are getting new couch legs because it's it's reached a point where um, you're pretty much sitting on the ground and I hate that. So we're getting new couch legs. Okay, bye. All right, so it is officially fall decorating week. So kind of my plan is um, I clean like two rooms a day. It's gonna change when I go back to full time, but right now my schedule, I clean like two rooms a day. So pretty much every day I'm gonna clean two rooms and then decorate them. Cause I feel like that's, I don't wanna decorate a room before I clean it, I feel. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean and decorate the office today and clean the bathroom. I might put up some stuff in the bathroom. I really don't quite know yet. I don't honestly remember what I all have, but I'm gonna do that. I also desperately, desperately need to organize that closet right behind me. It was a fucking disaster. Um, and yeah, I will kind of show you guys what I'm doing as I do it. All right, so bathroom is done, super basic. I think one of the pumpkins that I have for like my filming decor, um, I think I'll bring them in here once I'm change that over to Halloween decor, which is like literally at the end of this week, which is absolutely fucking insane. But you know, at least I'm ahead. Um, so super basic in here. I have a cute little fall nightlight, this hand towel that definitely is still pretty summery, but like it was sold in the, in the fall section at Kohl's. So I'm going to count it. And then I have this cute little sign right here. You know, like I said, super basic, not on the decor side, but I added these hooks behind the door, which I'm pretty excited about. Just for like robes and belts and things that don't need to like sit on the floor. But yeah, 
Um, I'm gonna start, I've already cleaned, I gotta clean the closet, which I'm not looking forward to, so. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I cleaned the closet. It's a fucking nightmare. Um, I think I'm gonna hold off on decorating in this room. The only reason that I say that. So obviously, not a whole lot of space here. You know, it's much computer. And then my vanity is, well, full as well. Realistically, the only like space that I have to put decor are my two little shelves for filming. And I already have stuff there. So I think I'm gonna wait. Um, now I have a lot more surfaces or like just places to put decor things in the living room. So I'd rather like focus it a little bit more out there and make it like really cute and cozy when you walk in. And then in here, it just kind of is what it is. Um, like I said, those shelves are literally changing. Today is Tuesday. I'm changing those shelves on Thursday afternoon or Friday, one of the two, depending. So like, it, and then the, and the blankie's gonna be a Halloween blankie. Like, I feel like it's fine in here. I feel like if I end up with like something extra, I might throw it up in here somewhere, but like really I just don't have a lot of space in here to put stuff, which if I'm being honest with you, makes me a little bit nervous <laughs> come Christmas time where last year we put our Christmas tree, like our little tiny little three foot Christmas tree in here because we used to not let the cats in here. And so it was a place where the tree was safe. <laughs> um, and now the cats are in here all the time. So I am gonna have to think really hard about where I'm putting that Christmas tree. I have a couple months for that. I have I have time for that one. But so yeah, I'm uh, all done cleaning, all done decorating for today. I'm gonna relax because really, really honestly, I haven't. I work and then I come home and I film and I clean, which I enjoy doing. I love doing all of it, but like I never just like really get a chance to just like relax. All right, so I cleaned the bedroom and the hall yesterday and decorated a little bit in here. Changed out the flowers in there, made them a little bit more fall. I got my little, we got married in 2018 pumpkins. These candles are usually on, but they're on a timer, so I don't want to turn them on and fuck it up. And then, real keeping it real simple, I just have my little fall candle holder. Pretty, pretty, pretty much it for this room pretty basic I don't have a lot of space to put up if I have something extra I might put it up in here and then one of my favorite things it's on a really weird setting right now but one of my favorite things to do with this guitar that my mother-in-law made is to wrap some lights around it because I just think it just adds even more and I just think it's so pretty so I got some orange lights on there otherwise not a whole lot happening in the hallway because well it's covered in pictures and stuff like that but yeah also forgot about my cute little fall wreath. I put up that command hook for originally for a Christmas wreath and it works really well with the Christmas wreath and with the spring wreath. Not so well with the fall one because it's like visible but I'll survive. I just think this wreath is so pretty and I just I love it so 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 much. So we moved into this apartment on October 1st. So really, you're gonna play with the cat toy right now, whatever. Um, so really didn't get much of a chance to put up like fall decor in this apartment last year. All I've really learned is that I don't have enough fall decor. <laughs> um, especially with the way that the living room is set up now with like more surfaces to put more things. Um, I really just don't, I don't have enough. Um, I have this very cute little sign in here. And then like, one little pumpkin on my desk that I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's, uh, I have like content stuff written on, like on my desk. And the same candle holder that's in our bedroom, I have one in the living room. And then like, a pumpkin on the coffee table. 
like a, the, the one of the ones that was behind me for filming. Some, some fall blankies. That's the extent of where the living room is at. Really quick, there is a better shot of that little sign. Same thing, ignore the mess in the back. Yes, I keep a vacuum in my dining room, but we have this cute little setup right here. Um, this pumpkin right here is the same one that I have on my desk. And then I have the big version of it, ignore my pops, we need to put up shelves and the little happy fall sign. But like other than that, uh, it's, it's pretty, like it's cute. Oh, there's this little guy up here too. Um, like other than that, it's pretty cute, but it's pretty bare. So pretty much where I'm at is that um, if I can find some cute fall decor, um, I'll probably show you guys in like the next vlog, like the September vlog, even though the September vlog's literally gonna have me decorating for Halloween, but like, fuck it. Um, I also will like put up fall decor again in like November. So I can show you guys anything new that I get then. Um, but yeah, that is going to uh, wrap up today's video. And my first actual legitimate monthly vlog. Um, honestly, I've been filming this for a while now, so I don't even really totally fully remember what it is that like I've talked about or anything like that. So yeah, hopefully I can edit this all together and piece it together and make it make sense. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you liked these style of videos. I had a lot of fun doing it and kind of like decorating the house and showing you guys like how I do certain like filming things or whatever. Um, I'm hoping that I can kind of like change it up every month and do like some different stuff, take you guys to like stores with me, you know, show you, I did dye my hair in this video whatever, like show you guys when I dye my hair, stuff like that. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you hated it so that, you know, I don't continue putting up content that maybe you don't like. And other than that, that is going to wrap up today's video. Like I've already said, please subscribe. If you have not already, it would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.